Now most people would probably describe a market as a pretty mundane place to go. No adventure there, right? No, because you're on the Pedresa Travel Channel, where everything is an adventure. And today we're going to take you to three different markets. So come along as we show you how markets are in California. Hello everyone. We are on the Imperial Highway headed out to Brea, California, where Denise tells me I'm the last person in the United States to know about this place. The very last. <laughs> the very last, she says. We're on our ways to go to Whole Food Market, right? That's why you Yes, it's its official name is Whole Foods. Everybody knows about Whole Foods. So much so that some people call it Whole Paycheck because it's not exactly a bargain market. Okay, to me it sounds very Californian. So we're going to check it out typifying expensive groceries here in California. So let's go check it out. Okay, we're going into a fancy shopping center here, which would make sense that Whole Foods would be in a fancy shopping center mm -hmm. with apartments over it. And a slap fish, huh? whatever that is. What's a slap fish? I don't know, but that's what it said over there. I don't know if we're gonna have enough money for this. This looks like a fancy place. Ooh, Madison Reed. Yes, it is. Okay, I don't know what Madison Reed is, so I guess... Pilates. Pilates, okay. Yes. I don't even see the grocery store yet. It's over here. Okay. Okay, we are now in the parking lot of Whole Foods here, where rumor has it that they have a $12 salad bar. So let's go check this place out and see if it lives up to the hype. It's definitely a busy day here. We've already seen like four Teslas, lots of electrical vehicles here. Sounds like a thing that would be a California thing. So let's go inside. Denise here, she says the Whole Food is actually owned by Amazon. It is now. It is now, okay. It's been bought by Amazon. So. But I was noticing the ad, if you have a Prime membership, you can get 33% off King Salmon today. Okay, 33% off King Salmon. They have electric charging stations here, so that doesn't surprise me. I remember one time, maybe Denise is saying that we came, we went to a Whole Foods in Oregon, so maybe yeah. it's not just a California thing to get a package. But I don't remember buying anything in there. Well, they do have Amazon lockers here, so you can pick up your Amazon package if you want it here at Whole Food Market. It's here. They ban 230 preservatives, flavors, colors, and other ingredients from the food they sell. No preservatives here. Hi, Norman. We got in the market, and the first thing that I noticed right away were two avocados for five dollars. Supposedly these are avocados that are ready to eat today, but I've tried squeezing them, and these are not ready to eat today. So I don't know what they're talking about. Maybe in like three days. The fish selection was pretty good. There was a large assortment of mussels and of different cuts of fish there. I didn't see any lobster or any crab, so I was kind of surprised about that. What was interesting is they had these little labels on each of the fish items, and it corresponded to this chart that you could tell how the fish was caught and what means it was produced by. So that was very interesting. Everything was wild caught fish in this supermarket. This section was interesting to me. There was 20 different types of milk in this area and none of the milk was from a cow. So this thing, how much does it come out to? This comes out to 37 cents, 38 cents an ounce of beans. That's what yeah, this I'm is. I'm looking for some, like do they have some conventionally ground versus the generic beans. kind which is like 13 cents yeah well i don't know about this nero black rice but that's like 45 cents an ounce that's a lot this supermarket had a lot of prepared food you could buy a lot of things that you could just take home and put in your microwave for example they had this 12 dollar chicken rice bundle that you could buy they had organic chocolate chip cookies, which were pretty good, but they crumbled. They didn't stay together very well. And here we're coming into the famous salad bar, 
that for $12 a pound, you can fill up with all these different vegetables and salad, all these different assortments bar, for their salad bar. There's really a large selection. This is their main thing. They advertise this big salad bar with every sort of topping that you could ever think of. The idea with the salad bar is that you use these brown boxes, you put whatever you want, and then you can just shake it up in the box. And that's about how it works. Real cow's milk, okay. okay. I'm on a mission to see if you can find real cow's milk. Yes. Okay, looks like there is real cow's milk down there. Organic even. And chocolate milk, looks like good chocolate milk. Yeah. There you go. You can get lots of different real, real cow's milk, not just the fake protein kind. Yeah. Now we're over here at the discount aisle. Yeah. See what's in the discount aisle. There's oh, Hawaiian chocolate, vitamins. some vitamins. Bouncy ball. Bouncy ball, okay. Hot, instant hot cereal. Okay, here you go. Real Parmigiano cheese here from Italy, so that's cool. That's kind of different. On the olive bar, okay. All the different olives that you can get. That's a lot of olives. No California market is complete without lots of grains and oatmeal for breakfast. Yes. Have to get that. You can even get cow nib oatmeal. Go figure. They don't call us granola heads for nothing. They have a beer garden there. Okay. She's got her $50 bag of groceries. This would go in that bag. Yes. Yeah. That's what we got for 50 bucks. That's what we got. A whole paycheck food. Yes. And I believe. I'm going to try my Rebel Dark Chocolate Supports Immunity. It has maca, rechi, huh? ashwagandha, <laughs> MCTs. Whatever those things are, I'm sure it's great. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be like Superman for sure. I'm going to try one of these walnut chocolate chip cookie things. See how those okay. taste. They're pretty good. I think they might have coconut in them. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Can't tell. So whole paycheck does not mess up. Um, They're soft though. That's good. Overall, it's edible. Better than the protein shake. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're in your Belinda, and we're gonna try a different market called Tokyo Central. Well, we're not gonna try it. We already know we love it, but yes. we'll share all the cool stuff. At Tokyo Central and yes. why we love it. Yeah, it's a pretty cool place. So come along. California has a large Asian population and so it goes to reason that there are a lot of Asian grocery stores in California. So let's check out this one and see what we can find in Tokyo Central Market. I know I do it. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to like I'm not saying I'm I've been trying breads. to eat less bread lately, but one thing that I cannot avoid is their cheesecake, which is so good. Which is sweet potato. This was the hot food section. Out of this section, I got two things. I got like these fried potato things. It's just um, kind of like the hash browns that you get at McDonald's. And then this over here is takoyaki, which is fried octopus. These are pre-made ramen bowls. All you have to do is heat it in a microwave for five minutes and you get the best ramen. We didn't have our unagi on the hottest days of summer. That, that was definitely the issue. If we had had the unagi on the hottest days of summer. Yeah. When it starts drinking. Oh, well. This is the cold section of the market. Here you can get pre-made sushi boats. This is sashimi. You can also get what I like, which are onigiri, which are rice balls. That's what I was really looking for. These salmon 
onigiris, they're little rice triangle balls. If you've ever watched anime, they're pretty popular there. This is Wagyu beef. This is beef that's been specifically butchered to have more there fat in There was a sale it. on Pure Select Mayonnaise for 99 cents, and they got wiped out really quickly. In California markets, you definitely have Spam. That's a thing. California Asian markets. Lots of different types of Spam, too. Here you can get all the Japanese healthcare stuff. Yeah, I definitely need some anime socks. <laughs> One thing about the markets here in California is a lot of them have places inside the market where you can eat right there. And so that's what we did. Here's those fried potato and the octopus, and we ate right there at the market. No takoyaki, no salad bars at this place. For the third and final market, we went to Smart and Final, which is a wholesale market. Here you can get things in bulk, so that was kind of interesting. Yeah, it's not a supermarket, but it's still pretty big. Yeah, it's a full-on market. It's not a corn grocery store. Right. Corn, oh, yep, it's summer. Corn's on sale. Sorry for two bucks. Okay. So, as always, the first thing that we did Wolven was go Wheaton's. to the discount food yeah, section. Right. And spaghetti sauce, maybe. Five ninety-five. I mean, I can get it cheaper. Is it really good? Yeah. Um, There's a and cheaper. Party, party tumblers. Yep. And some chips. Hot chocolate that's been gotten into. Bulk. That's the word I was thinking of. Yeah. Here, it's all about the bulk. Here, they're signed up for $25 for 9 kilograms, and that's like way cheaper than the other two places. Go for the $9, then how much are they? I think these are, um... $7.99? Yeah, they're $8. You just lose a dollar if they're... Uh, you lose they're, like a dollar if they're a deal. Yeah, and if you, you come some back discount tomorrow... Discount meats. Yeah, $6.49 for that tri-tip. Ooh, nice. Some chicken breast. The discount meat yeah. aisle. Sometimes you can find a discount one, but usually they're nine dollars. Big soda aisle. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's a no-go right now. This was kind of interesting. This was the food dye section. You can pretty much dye your food any color you want. And in red yellow and blue were the most popular colors i guess because those are primary colors but dyeing your food is just an interesting california phenomenon in california we're blessed with a lot of vegetables and a lot of fruits and so the fruit and vegetable section seems to be pretty big in california yeah. well there you have it folks three different supermarkets in california whole foods tokyo central and smart and final so what do you think do you have these markets where you are are any of these markets like the markets that you have in your towns? Is my wife right? Am I the last one to know about Whole Foods? Do you like ethnic foods? Or do you try to avoid ethnic foods? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video, and we will see you in the next Pedrosa Travel Adventure.